the the life expectancy is ten times shorter than any career. And then you want to get as much as you can. Never negotiate anything or say that he can get better. But then when it came back, red flag, he says, hey, yeah, we just signed a deal. You got four million. You're going to get a million up front, something like that. And don't tell nobody. And I'm like, what you mean don't tell nobody? Who's I supposed to tell? Well, we're not going to put it in the paper. Okay. Red flag. Next day, James Thrash gets signed. Guess who starts that year? Guess who doesn't play that year? So now you can see the business. Great business, right? Your agent is looking out for you. He's a great guy. It's all family. We're family here. It's a selfish business. Look out for your damn self. Maximize everything you can get from him. Because if he can pay you a million, that means he's making a billion. Understand the business and the structure of how things work work understanding the business unfortunately i had to go through it to learn it so now my deal is to teach it i have my degree in education so i am meant to be a teacher not in the school system but i'm meant to teach so for all you looking for all these agents it's a catch-22 with them if you're not in the business yeah you probably need them because they can talk they can be a mouthpiece i'm not sure what all the rules of how coaches can talk to you because I talked my way into going to Baltimore. I called up Coach Harbaugh to congratulate him because he was one of the realest dudes that talked to me at Philly. And he was like, hey man, do you still want to play? And it was just that simple. I didn't have an agent. It was fact I had a personal relationship with Coach Harbaugh and he brought me in and gave me an opportunity. And as a man, that's all you can ask for is an opportunity. He gave an opportunity. It wasn't meant for me to play football anymore. Had a major concussion, split my hand, five stitches in the middle of my hand, the palm of my hand, broke my toe, messed my knee up. I've never been that hurt in my, I, all my life within three weeks. So it was time for me to wrap up. And I wasn't the one that was just going to keep force feeding, trying to go through pain and prove to people that, hey, I can play football. It's just not me. It was time to go. So for y'all looking for them agents, it's a catch-22 with them. You got to be selfish. You have to know your business. You have to understand your business. Because when that dude talks sideways, you can check him. So don't be that dummy and just say, and depend on your agent. And then the last agent I signed, never met them. Um, oh, yeah, we're going to take care of you after you retire. I don't even think I got a phone call saying hey are you gonna play anymore i think the last phone call i got was saying hey the redskins wanted to um do a workout or something and i just laughed never heard from him again called him back because i was just like it was just it was just hysterical for me it was just like okay it was just so much going on i just laughed i just laughed that's all i did and I was like, yeah, man. But I think, like I said, mentally, I was done. I got sick of the bull job. I got sick of trying to prove myself. I just got sick. I got tired of trying to figure everything else out instead of just playing football. I just wanted to play football. Me being naive, I thought it was about football. It's not about football. It is about business. It is about numbers. How much do I have to pay him versus how much I have to pay him? They call it a game. It's no different than the street. It's the same exact game. Oh, life's not a game. Yes, it is because they put it on and they make billions of dollars on television every week. Every major business is a game. And if you understand that, if you can live that street life, that hood life, and you apply it, to the world of business, I guarantee you, you win. I was a suburban boy. I was a little naive. A little softer. Wasn't aggressive enough. Whole bunch of things, coulda, woulda, shoulda. But I'm here, I'm still standing. Body all good. 
Ah, I still got the guns. Look like I can play. Can't play a lick. But just pay attention to them agents, man. Um, and, and it's just it's like, you know, fish. You throw that lure out, see what you get. You know, but now the space I'm in now, get those black agents a chance, man. You got to. You got to. Get those black agents a chance. Most of them not going to have big clientele. But at the same time, the big agents, if you're not a big guy, if you're not that A-list name, they really don't care. Because they ain't gonna get, they ain't getting much money off of you. I think it's now it's what one to three percent or something. So if you're making them the least amount of money, they getting three percent of it. You making the most amount of money, they getting one percent of it. But they don't do nothing. They don't never step out on the field. They say they negotiate for you. That's bull job. You could probably negotiate yourself, or just real simple, get a lawyer. Get a lawyer that's not a part of the NFL or anybody else, so they're going to work for you. It's going to be in your best interest. You pay that lawyer whatever his fees are, boom, and you ain't got to pay him again. And I guarantee it won't be 1% or 3% of what you'll make unless he try to get shysty in there. You got to watch some lawyers too. They, they know the codes. But for the most part, once you pay him his fee, he done. You ain't got to pay him no more. And like I said, I know I met a couple vets who've been in the game. They said after their second or third year, they got rid of the agent. For what? Look at where I'm slotted. This is where I am. This is the much money he making above me. This is where I am. Like that. Mm, excuse me. That is my spiel on agents. Leave your comments, questions, concerns. We right now, we deep in the mind of McCants, man. Deep in the mind of McCants. Real talk, real business. We got to help each other out. I know some of you young boys don't like talking to alumni. You need to. Find out what they went through so you don't go through the same damn stuff. Same dumb stuff. Because the game ain't changed. It ain't changed. Not much. Not much.